What up, what up? This is Ray Grand, your host, and you're listening to The Ray Grand Show, where we talk about redefining a disability and overcoming. I've been paralyzed from 22 years from bacterial spinal meningitis. I know a few things. That's right. Thank you for listening, and let's get to it. Good day, people. This is Ray Grand, your host. Thank you for listening to the Ray Grand Show. Thank you for all the new listeners that are tuning in. I greatly appreciate the support and all the subscribers. And thank you for supporting me through this journey. Yes, yes, we are on number eight. Ten ways to be the best version of yourself so you can show up grand. Yes, indeed. And that number eight is attitude. And as you know, your attitude determines your altitude. I don't know about you, but I can speak for myself. Is when you feel someone has a bad attitude, you're like, man, what's wrong with that person? And I can tell you firsthand, I'm still learning to still have a great attitude. I believe I have a great attitude. However, when someone has a bad attitude, how do you respond? I know sometimes how I can respond. It's like, oops, forget them. And that is not a good reflection of myself and what I believe in. So I tell you today, I am still growing and having a better and a green attitude. And I can tell you that is a process. And it's focusing on who you are and who you are designed to be and how you respond. That is one big cookie to swallow. Yes, indeed. So if you haven't downloaded the GPA audio, make sure you go download it. And if you haven't joined the GPA Nation, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We are getting new subscribers by the weekly. And I'm super grateful for the support. And I'm super grateful for the listeners. And I'm super grateful for you. And this is why I do what I do to show a brand. Because those who don't know me, I've been a long, long way. And I'm super grateful. And I'm continuing to do what I do. Keep showing up grand. Keep improving. And being the best version that I can be. And, 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 and provide the wisdom and the lessons I've learned from being 23 years wheelchair bound due to bacterial spinal meningitis. And I'm still here today to share my story because I believe sharing your story is extremely important because somebody can learn from your story, someone can be changed by your story, someone can be inspired by your story, someone can be motivated by your story. Is that transparency, hot, like I like to say, humble, open, and transparent. Somebody can grow and somebody can be the best version of yourself by you simply sharing your story. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Attitude. The definition of attitude reads a settled way, a settled way of thinking or feeling about someone or something, typically one that is reflected in a person's behavior. Well, the best way I could describe an attitude is by me telling you a quick story. So listen to this story. This is an amazing story by Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey got laid off from Ford Motor Company and he had a sponsor named John Walker. So Steve said to John, he doesn't have to wake up every morning. And John Walker would call Steve every morning. Steve, hey, what's going on, man? Today's going to be a great day. And Steve would go, hello. And John Walker would say, hey, Steve, it's John Walker. Today's going to be a great day. Today's going to be a great day. And hang up. And John Walker will call Steve the next morning. Hey, Steve, today's going to be a great morning. Today's going to be a great morning and a great day. Now, Steve is getting pretty upset because Steve does not have a job. He's collecting unemployment. He doesn't have to get up early in the morning. So he's getting a little frustrated. And John Walker will call again at 5.30 a.m. And call Steve. Hey, Steve, today's going to be a great day. Today's going to be a great day. Good morning. This is John Walker. 
Now, Steve's getting upset. Now, he's like, what the? Woo! You know, Steve, he liked to cuss just a little bit, just a little bit. And every single day, John Walker will call Steve. Didn't miss a beat. 5.30 on the dot. Hey, Steve, it's John Walker. Today's going to be a great day. How you feeling? And every day, Steve will respond. Hey, John, I'm asleep. I don't have to wake up. I don't have a job. For 37 days straight, John Walker will call Steve. And he was teaching Steve a lesson that Steve will soon find out. And on the 38th day, John called Steve. He said, hey, Steve, can I ask you something? Steve says, yeah, man, you can ask me something. John says, how come you answer the phone like that in the morning? Steve responds, what are you talking about? And John says, every time I call in the morning, you act like something's wrong. And I called you 37 days in a row, and you act like something is wrong. And Steve responds, says, I got laid off. I'm getting unemployment. I don't have to wake up in the morning. What's up? John replies, Steve, I'm really disappointed in you. When you going to change your attitude? And Steve responds, ain't nothing wrong with my attitude. And John said, oh, yeah, it is. He said, when you wake up in the morning, you got a bad attitude, which pretty much explains why you've been having a lot of bad days. And he said, man, I hate that about you, man, because you, you a cool dude. You got so much potential. And John said, I'm sorry to bother you. And he hung the phone up. So that messed Steve up to the core because he didn't want someone else to think of him in a way that he wasn't. And so he really, really thought about that the whole day. And the next morning, he's cussing. He's, he, he's ready. He's ready. He's ready for John waiting by the phone. Because in his mind, he's saying, this dude's been playing me for 37 days. Ooh. So Steve's waiting and sitting up in the bed waiting for the call. And the next morning, John calls. Hello? Hey, Steve, it's John Walker. Today's going to be a great day. How you feeling, man? Steve responds, hey, John, today's a great day. This is Steve Harvey. What's up? What's up? Oh, what up, baby? Hey, Steve, how's it going, man? Steve responds, man, I'm having a great day. Hey, John, you won't believe me. I got some great stuff that's going to be happening. And John responds, yeah, you my man. And he hung up. And Steve wanted him to call him back and ask him, hey, what happened? But John never called him back. However, one day John did call him back and told Steve, hey, man, one day you're going to be shared greatness because you learned how to wake up. And 22 years later, Steve got a gig in Chicago. And guess what he was? He was the morning drive guy. In 122 cities, talking to nine and a half million people every week, having the number one adult contemporary radio show in the world. And Steve wakes everyone up with the right attitude because his attitude changed. So God turned him into the morning man, the Steve Harvey show. The GPA takeaway for Steve Harvey was he realized that he had a bad and negative attitude. And he realized with that bad negative attitude, that was why he was getting negative results. The second GPA takeaway, once Steve Harvey recognized that his attitude had to be positive and his attitude would get him the right outcome, he began to see things in a positive light. He realized he was able to wake up. He realized that he had his help. And then he began to be positive. In essence, how I like to say it, if you plant a lemon seed, you're going to get a lemon tree. And if you plant a negativity seed, you're going to get a negativity tree. And so therefore, plant something that is worth eating the fruit. Plant an apple seed and you'll get an apple tree and you'll be able to eat the apples. So here's some action items for you. If you ever find yourself complaining from a bad situation, 
look at that situation and find three to five positive things about that situation. And eventually you'll see that there's a positive in every situation. And then number two, sing a song. Like me, I like to worship and sing to the Lord. Because when I sing to the Lord, I focus on him and not the problem. In return, I get peace and joy. So I wanna encourage you, change your attitude and your altitude will change for the better for yourself, your friends, and your family. Thank you. Thanks for listening. If you like something that you heard, please leave a review. Oh, oh, one more thing. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Love y'all.